In Canada, it was Gilles Villeneuve who made the headlines. The Canadian was Lauda's successor at Ferrari, where they intended to line up their three drivers for the second to last Grand Prix of the season. Well, things were different then, and a supplementary test session was even organised for the Wednesday before the race for Ferrari and Renault, who still had a lot to learn. While certain of the title, Lauda was torn between two courses, honouring his contract down to the last letter, or deciding not to run for the Ferrari team, in which he had been unhappy for some time. While convinced that the Scudera would be unable to prepare three cars properly, Lauda decided on the Friday morning not to compete in the last two races of the season. More drama and an exit via the back door for the brand new world champion. Well, another striking thing, the Renault team didn't qualify. They immediately decided to withdraw from Japan in order to prepare better for their 1978 season. Once again the track was wet for the start which didn't stop Mario Andretti from bounding forward at the green light to keep the advantage of his pole. There were 80 laps on the programme and up until about the 60th, Hunt kept up the pressure on the Lotus driver. Sadly for Hunt, in his McLaren, he managed to collide with his teammate, Jochen Maas. Jody Schechter took his place behind Andretti. Gilles Villeneuve spun and came 12th, four laps behind the winner. A few laps later, and another classic played itself out. Andretti was let down by his engine just three laps from the finish. Maddening for the American, who could have taken his fifth victory. But the scene was set for the 1978 season, and the Lotus team, with Ronnie Peterson once again in their midst, promising to be formidable. Schechter claimed victory and officially became Lauda's second in the championship. Not bad in the team's debut 